Hey y'all, this is Jen, and I have a uh, project share for an open collaboration hosted by my sweet friend Janet Kay. She is doing a, um, a Twinchies, um, I can't remember the name of it right this second, oh my goodness. Let me see if I can find somebody's real quick that did it. Because I want to give the right information. Um, hang on one second. It is 20, hashtag 20 Thursday. Um, and I guess this is the first Thursday. I somehow missed that video. I didn't see the video where she posted that, but I'm so glad that I saw the other two people's videos because um, I, I love Twinchies. I haven't made Twinchies in years. I used to make them all the time on Swapbot, but gosh, it's been a long time. Um, so I was super excited to see this. These literally take no time once you, um, you have an idea in your head. You can just go and go and go. Um, I only made three just because I'm running on low, late in the game um it's almost the end of thursday and this may actually go up early friday uh, but i still wanted to support my sweet friend janet um so what twinchies are is they are a two by two inch little piece of art and you can literally put anything and everything on them but like on a small scale so it's like a little work of art um and I don't know if there's a rule about this. I did round my corners. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it should matter, but I just prefer rounded corners because <laughs> I think it looks cute. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys what I made. So I am seriously on a bee kick lately. Like, I want all the bee things. Um, and so I made bee twinchies. I made three of them. <laughs> um, so um, this one, I put down a piece of, um, just a piece of junk journaling paper that I got off of Etsy. It was just like a dictionary page, and I just put that in the background. And then I, from Dollar Tree, I had gotten these, um, these wall creations, uh, the removable tile that you can put on your walls, and it kind of looks like a honeycomb. It's, um, it's called Marble Silver Hexagon, but it totally looks like a bee, beehive to me. Um, so I cut off a little piece, and I put it in the background there, um, and then I had this mushroom ephemera, um, that I got, I believe, from a Tim Holtz package that I split with my daughter, um, and then I took, I have a little bee sticker that I found and I put it on a piece of like light cardstock um, and I popped it up on a pop dot. And then um, I found these, the sheet of word stickers that I had. So I'm really about trying to use what's in my stash lately. And so I'm so happy I found all this stuff because it was all stuff in my stash. Um, and so I put kind because when you think about bees, you think about be kind. <laughs> and then I found this little kind of rose gold heart, kind of more coppery actually, but it, it matched the mushrooms. So I just stuck that down there. Um, and on this one, I just bought a paper pad from Hobby Lobby this week because they were half off with uh, it's it's a bee floral paper pad um so I took the piece this piece and cut a little square out of it I took another piece of that dictionary paper from the same um thing that I got off of Amazon I also found in my stash these little brat um brads and I cut off the bottom part and just hot glued it right there this is another one of those little ephemera pieces from that Tim Holtz package. It's just a little flower, and I cut a piece off of um, another piece and just stuck that on there. And I really love how that came out. Um, and then I just put another one of those stickers that says Grow. And then for my last one, um, oh, and also on this one, I did edge it with um, Distress Ink. And then this one is still a little bit wet, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, I took another piece of scrapbook paper from that same bee floral paper pad. Um, I, I fussy cut one of the daisies from the paper pack and popped it up 
on top of one of the other flowers and then I kind of put some distress ink around the outside of it. In the um, center are stickles. Um, I used this one. It is yellow, just yellow is the color. Um, and then I also put some of that stickle right there. That little bee was there in the background. And then over here, I just put, and I put some stickles on that little flower too. And here I just put a little bee, a 3D, three-dimensional bee from Hobby Lobby. And I put some stickles across his back. And then I put another one of those stickers that says Dream. I absolutely love how these came out. I can't decide if I want to keep them or if I want to like use them for like an ATC or a card or to send in friend mail. I'm not sure yet, but I just absolutely love this. Um, this is an open collaboration. You can join at any time. Um, so I will link Janet Kay's uh, channel below so you can go check her out. And then also check out all the other people with the hashtag 20 Thursday and see what everybody else created. These are so fun, you guys. And they're, like I said, um, I think you would really enjoy making these if you like to do paper crafts. So I hope you will check everybody out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I hope you're having a blessed week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.